today from Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in London, England. It's the NFL International Series on EA Sports. We'll see Matt Ryan and the Atlanta Falcons taking on Sam Darnold and the New York Jets. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the New York Jets and the Atlanta Falcons. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. Taken about seven yards deep, and he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. Atlanta takes the field. Their offensive leader, of course, Matt Ryan, the former Boston College Eagle. I always enjoy reflecting on Matt Ryan's career at this stage because when he came out of the draft, he was the number three pick overall. There were plenty of doubters out there about whether he should have gone in that slot. I don't think you can find any of those doubters now. One of the top quarterbacks in the NFL. Now the first carry here for Todd Gurley. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. But that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working. But how about his vision to see where the play was going? Crashed down inside and tackled him for a loss. play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Now they'll toss to Gurley left. And a very similar result again. The Jets defense once more stopping him behind the line. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. You can bet they're not going to go away from the running game anytime soon, but this is obviously not a good start. Two carries, two runs, both stop for a loss. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. The former third overall pick, Quinnen Williams there to bring him down. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. The Falcons send out their punter as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Here now comes the Jets offense and the man that will be captaining the ship at six foot three, it's Sam Darnold. I love how he exploded on the national scene his redshirt freshman year when at the beginning of the season he was not named the starting quarterback, but when USC was struggling, he got an opportunity. And by the end of the year, 
the Rose Bowl MVP an epic shootout with Penn State and put him on the NFL radar in a big way. Darnold going to lead the Jets up now, first and 10 at their own 46. Now the former Terrapin, this is Ty Johnson. And he's over midfield and into Falcon territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. All right, Brad, I know where they're only going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Faking the give, Darnold. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. A lot of times, it's that first read that you had. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Tyler Davison hauling it off the edge to sack him. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. Jets send on Braden Mann to punt. Yes. The Falcons take over first and ten at their own 20 yards. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons offense. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked go to so something well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Ryan to the Falcons now come up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. He gives to Gurley, and he's got Rome. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. A quick first down pickup. Good start after going three and out on their opening drive. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Ryan to throw. Open receiver, that's Hayden Hurst, the tight end. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. A gain of nine. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Last catch short of the marker by just a yard. Leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now it's Gurley. And they're well past midfield. Just a yard or two shy of the 40. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. That's a very nice game there. Confidence building run. Love the execution up front. And the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 42 yard line. From the shotgun, Ryan got his man. That's the pro bowler, Julio Jones. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Julio Jones, 42 yards. And the Falcons 
Jackson taking the early lead. And on that one, able to catch it, also able to have the wherewithal to take it in for the score. And how about the phases of a successful catch and a completion of a play? Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then, of course, the run after the catch that ends up in the end zone. Extra point attempt here still to come. It's good, and that gives the Falcons a 7 to nothing lead. A four-play drive spanning 80 yards. And the end result, an Atlanta touchdown. Now following the touchdown, off Richter to kick off. On the return, Corey Ballantyne. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Corey Ballantyne on the return. The Jets take over first and 10. And they're back on the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Now, let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That, too. <laughs> Darnold going to lead the Jets up now. First and 10 at the 34. Out of the gun, he'll throw. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Come on, So they saw the contact before the ball arrived. Penalty flag for pass interference. And trying to avoid pass interference is so difficult. You're trying to slow down these skilled receivers, and somehow, some way, they make plays on the football, and sometimes you're there too soon. Here's the first carry now for Frank Gore. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. One yard gain brings up second and nine at the Falcons' 46-yard line. Still nine remaining on second down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Seven, Jets nothing. Second and nine. Darnold. Got a man. It's Barrios complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Brady Jarrett, what a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. And it's never going to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all, because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range. And that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that.
Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Another try after the first down sack. Darnold, he's got Herndon, is tied in. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Darnold from the gun. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. That's certainly playing down a distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. Chase McLaughlin now for the field goal try. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. now ready to take over here. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock? Hey, are we just got good ball control? This is the NFL. 7-0 leads, they don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. Right, they try the 50-yarder and miss it, and now this offense has it first and 10 at the 40. Play action. It's Ryan. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Ashton Davis. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a jet touchdown. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Chase McLaughlin on for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Here's Powell on the return. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. Atlanta now coming out on the field. Falcons up now, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start the drive with Gurley. 
Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Maybe just a lack of concentration there as he couldn't haul it in. And when you're going across the middle like that, you know, he's running that drag route, you are conscious of all the bodies and the traffic in there. But let's face it, if you're going there, you might as well come down with the football and absorb whatever else happens after that. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. From the gun, it's Ryan. But the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. Quinnen Williams able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you get three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Here's Sterling Hoffrichter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. Pushing through tacklers at the 30. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. A throw left side to start the drive is complete. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. A throw over the middle, taken in, and taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 11 yards there, first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Now a dump off here complete. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. That's good for a Jet first down, a gain of 13. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Darnold completes it. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Looking to throw again on second down. Darnold, and an incomplete pass. And that'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. And that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. 
They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. Again, Darnold. Got a man. It's Mims. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Flushed out right. And Arnold, he lost the football. And the Falcons grab it. And a great return as he's up close to the 40-yard line. A couple on the play. You think about it, Charles, this is not a quarterback that's used to running the football a lot, and that time he was loose with it, had it knocked free. He always has to think to himself that there's always going to be traffic around because of what you just said. Not that elusive, not going to get to the open field very often. Remember, he's not Lamar Jackson, not Michael Vick back in the day. Always has to protect the football because there's always going to be people around. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Following the fumble recovery, it's Ryan. He'll drop this underneath to Gurley. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. a second and two after that last catch good for eight yards from the gun Ryan man open that's Calvin Ridley the Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play Good plays have him on the move on first down. Operating from the gun, Ryan. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 46. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football before he knew it. He was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 seven, seven hour score. As it's time now to send you back stateside to Orlando, Florida and check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. But they are all even to this point. So to see if either side can pull away, let's get you right back out to Brandon and Charles for the start of the second half. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. As they say here in London, all to play for as we are back underway in the second half. Ballantyne to return. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Jets take over first and 10 at their own. New York ready to 
go again offensively. And they'll be looking to atone for last time's mistake of fumbling inside the red zone. Certainly, they don't want to do that again. And so much emphasis placed on red zone offense. I mean, you have periods devoted in practice just for that because everyone knows how vital it is to put points on the board when you've entered that part of the field. And to come away with nothing, that's difficult for a team to handle. Yeah, difficult, and now we'll see if they can make it less difficult on themselves on this drive. Darnold on first down. He's got this one complete to Perriman. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. That was a nicely run slam route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. Call it a one-yard gain on the play. And it's a second down. A gain of a yard. Brings up second and nine at the 40-yard line. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. From the gun on third down, here's Darnold. He finds his target. It's Crowder. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Shotgun snap for Darnold. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Here's Darnold. Throw complete to Herndon. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons 28. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Denzel Mims. A gain of five, brings up second and five. At the Falcons, 23-yard line. yards they take him down at the 26 it'll be a loss of a full three yards there and it also brings up third down well we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half and that trend is continuing here forthcoming and they need eight yards on third down now Darnold 
And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Normally you think the tight end is going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact. But in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. Chase McLaughlin on for the field goal. A 43-yard attempt. And his kick is indeed good. And the Jets hit the board first. It's 3-0. Jets 10. Falcons 7. Well, they don't get a touchdown here in the opening drive of the third quarter, but I think maybe you still say mission accomplished as they come away with the lead. No, absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go downfield, get some points up on the board, and hope that you've motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. team on the field now as they will send this one away. Taken about seven yards deep. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. So we get set to start this third quarter. Here's the Falcons offense now. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. And they weren't in zone coverage. They were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a Defensive Player of the Year at the other, and they just locked people down. Second and 16 after the sack. They go play action with Ryan. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. And he's brought down after a very nice game. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard game. At the 50-yard line. the NFL on EA Sports. Short throw underneath to Hurst. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You tackle them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Now a man open down the middle of the field. Give him six on the play, and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Hey, 
They go play action now. Ryan. Open man. It's Stacker. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. First time they've looked his way in this game. He comes through picking up the first. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Throw on first down with Ryan. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Gurley. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Nine yards on the play there, and it'll set him up first and goal. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Now Ryan. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. Just inside the 20 at the 19. Blowing that play up was Henry Anderson. Brand, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness that defensive line is eating them alive. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Now Gurley. And good downhill running. He's got six yards down to the 13. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. For the lead, here's third and goal. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. And that is incomplete. He was unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really start to finish. Hey, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Certainly some pressure here on Young Way Koo. A 30-yard attempt. And his kick is right there. It's good. And we are all tied here in the final stages. So a big kick to get this back to even. And now the worry is, did you leave too much time on the clock? Because another field goal the other way, that does you in. You're exactly right. You didn't get into overtime yet. So now as a defense, you've got to think to yourself, you can't play prevent defense and just give up big chunks of yardage in front of you. But you also can't let anyone behind you. So you sit right on the line between the two, play the best defense you can, and not make it easy for them to move the ball downfield. All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The New York set to take the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. 
I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Darnold now to throw. He's got this one completed to Mims. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A well executed 22 yard gain. That gets them the first down, but they've still got to move quickly here. First down now, but that clock rolling. Now it's Darnold. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. Seven yards on the play, and that'll bring up second down. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three. Now Darnold. Able to connect with Mims. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. situation not nearly enough time on the clock you having to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you second down and 10 Darnold completing it to the right side Johnson the Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. Throwing again is Darnold. And it's caught by Herndon. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout as it comes with exactly a minute to go in the football game. show run with three tight ends here on first down here's Gore and he will lose yardage here back at the 23 yard line officially it's a one yard loss that's going to bring up second and 11 all right my man this is now where it's risk reward because on defense you've got to crowd the line of scrimmage you've got to get in all the gaps get up tight on everyone and try and force the field goal attempt here you can't let them break one big, but you know something when you crowd the line of scrimmage, if they do pop one, it's going to go a Yeah, I was going to say, could take it to the house, but the magnitude of this possible upcoming field goal, every yard counts. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. They'll stick to the ground game with Gore. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. drive forthcoming and they need eight yards on third down. Gore. 
And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to about the 19. Just a one-yard pick up there, and it'll be fourth down. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback and makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. He's made one and he's missed one thus far. This for the win. And it's good. He got it. He missed his long attempt earlier, but he connects when it matters most. And the city will be alive tonight. The Jets have won it. Well, a little drama there at the end, but really this thing was already decided. The late points get scored, and then it ends on the kickoff. And I'm right there with you, partner. At the end of the game, they knew what they had to do. Just make sure you don't cough up the football at the end. Just take care of it, and victory was theirs, and that's exactly what they did. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say cheerio from London.